Number 9. Tim Cadman In October of 2016, Australian man Tim Cadman narrowly survived an encounter with a tiger snake in New South Wales. The university lecturer was guiding a party of four through Kunawara National Park. He'd just finished telling his group that the snakes were particularly dangerous at that time of the year when he felt a sudden pain in his left leg. He initially thought he'd snagged his leg on a twig, but then realized he'd been bitten. His walking companion applied a compression bandage and the emergency services were called. A Westpac helicopter approached the area that the group was in, but bad weather forced the pilot to land at some distance. A decision was made to have a road ambulance retrieve Cadman, sorting out all the logistics took several hours. By the time his rescuers reached him, Cadman had already started to vomit, shake and gag, which are typical precursors to venom-induced major organ failure. Fortunately, he was treated with anti-venom and recovered after being hospitalized for a few days. Number 8. Callum Edwards 20-year-old Callum Edwards died on New Year's Day 2019 following a tiger snake bite that he'd sustained at a music festival. In late December, Edwards was at an event called Beyond the Valley in Lardner, about 60 miles east of Melbourne. It was there that he fell critically ill and had to be airlifted to a hospital. During the same festival, at least two other revelers, both in their 20s, had to be rushed to the emergency room after they'd overdosed on unspecified substances. In light of those incidents, Edwards's condition was initially regarded as a suspected overdose. However, further medical investigation revealed the presence of tiger snake venom in his system. It's unclear when the bite had occurred, but the venom had already wrought havoc on the young man's organs. He died in the hospital only a few days after he'd been airlifted from the festival. Number 7. Matt and Braden Horn in 2017, an Australian man and his autistic son were the victims of a vicious tiger snake attack, which occurred at their home in Diamond Creek, Victoria. 11-year-old Braden Horn was playing in the hallway when the deadly reptile slithered up to him. Not realizing the danger he faced, Braden attempted to handle it, at which point he was bitten twice, on a toe and on the inner leg. His father, Matt, intervened and wrestled the snake away from him, he also sustained two bites in the process. The family called the emergency services after trapping the tiger snake in their bedroom. Catcher Matt Pelly, locally known as the Snake Hunter, removed it from the premises while the father and son were rushed to a local hospital. Tiger snakes were among the planet's most venomous reptiles, owning venom that can take hold within 30 minutes. However, according to Pelly, they aren't particularly aggressive unless they feel threatened. Like other snake species in Australia, they may enter homes to escape hot weather. Pelly told the BBC that throughout his work as a catcher, he'd removed snakes from cars, beds, dishwashers, refrigerators, and even from inside walls. In the attack's aftermath, Matt and Braden were given anti-venom. They were kept under observation for 20 hours and subsequently released without further incident. Number 6. Jackson Scott in 2012, a Glasgow man was bitten on his privates by a tiger snake while on a working holiday in Tasmania. 29-year-old Jackson Scott was based at a farm in a rural area and he'd gone into the garden to relieve himself. He would later tell a media outlet that he'd chosen to do so in order to save water on flushing the toilet, since water was precious in the outback. It was roughly 4 o'clock in the morning as Scott assumed a squatting position in the dark. As he was about to return, he felt a searing pain in his testicles. Scott determined that he'd been bitten by a tiger snake and he knew that he had to act quickly before the venom took hold. A friend then drove him 40 minutes to a Hobart hospital. Scott was treated with anti-venom and survived what he described as a painful and embarrassing encounter. Number 5. Odie In 2018, a family from Western Australia was emotionally shaken up after losing their dog in a tiger snake attack. Odie, a four-year-old bull Arab, had been wandering on the Wilkinson family property in Barragup. Normally an energetic and playful dog, Odie returned to his owner, Liana, displaying weakness and lethargy. He was taken to a local hospital, where a series of tests indicated that he'd been bitten by a tiger snake. In addition to anti-venom, the pet was also treated with several bags of fluid. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to save his life and Odie passed away the following day.
In the aftermath of losing their pet, who they regarded as a member of their family, the Wilkinsons shared their story as a warning to other residents. Wildlife authorities advised homeowners to keep the grass on their properties low and to clear away rubbish piles as well as materials such as wood planks or sheets of corrugated metal, which snakes might use as shelter. Number 4. Ben Avery In April of 2021, a Brisbane snake catcher was left battling for his life after he was bitten by his pet tiger snake. Ben Avery was feeding the reptile named Wesley Stripes at his home in Redlands. As he approached the snake, it launched out of its enclosure and plunged its fangs into his thumb. It's believed that the tiger snake managed to deliver a full envenomation, and Avery described the effect of the bite as the worst pain he'd ever felt. The 38-year-old would later credit his survival to the quick reaction of his wife, Melissa. She kept her composure and, within 30 seconds, wrapped bandages around her husband's arm and called the emergency services. Less than 15 minutes after he'd been bitten, the father of two collapsed and started convulsing. Avery was rushed to Princess Alexandra Hospital. His kidneys had started to shut down because of the venom, with one report claiming that they'd pretty much melted. He was hospitalized for 11 days. Avery was given four blood transfusions and was placed on dialysis for several weeks, but was expected to make a full recovery. His reaction to tiger snake venom is believed to be among the worst on record, particularly when considering how quickly he lost consciousness. Toxicology specialists actually used his close call as a case study for treating snake bites. Doctors told him that another tiger snake bite would likely be fatal. Avery stated an intention of rehoming Wesley Stripes along with his other venomous snakes. Number 3. Jamie Lind In 2019, snake catcher Jamie Lind called his wife to say goodbye, believing he was about to die due to the effects of tiger snake venom. Lind had been called to a residence in Willora, about 90 miles west of Melbourne. He'd successfully captured the snake and was walking around the property with the owner. Lind then encountered what he'd later describe as one of the largest tiger snakes he'd ever seen. Lind grabbed the serpent's tail, at which point it swung up to bite him in the face. Lind avoided the initial attack, but the snake then sunk its teeth into his armpit region beneath the shoulder blade. While the bite itself didn't hurt, Lind started to feel the effects of the venom within minutes. The owner called the emergency services and an ambulance was dispatched to the remote property. Not knowing how long it would take for his rescuers to arrive, and with his consciousness fading, Lind called his wife and children to say goodbye. The ambulance reached him after an estimated 40 minutes, and Lind was taken to Ballard Base Hospital, which was about 60 miles away. Lind was given two doses of antivenom, and he spent 24 hours in the intensive care unit. He survived his ordeal, but in the aftermath, decided to retire from snake catching. Today's topic was requested by Michael Chandler. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Georgie Harper In October of 2015, Georgie Harper was bitten by a tiger snake while working on a proposal for a school excursion at Yelagonga Regional Park in northern Perth. 20-year-old Harper, a teacher in training, accidentally cornered the highly venomous serpent against one of the historical plaques at the site. Others in her group managed to jump backwards in time. Harper, who was closest to the snake, was bitten twice as she struggled to avoid it. An ambulance was called and a tourniquet was applied to the young woman's leg to prevent the venom from spreading. She was taken to Joondalup Health Campus, where medical staff determined that her envenomation was mild enough that it didn't warrant anti-venom treatment. She was held under observation overnight with a splint on her leg and released from the hospital the following morning. The next few days, she experienced a rare delayed reaction to the snake's venom. Her ankle became swollen and she experienced intense pain. Her condition gradually worsened. She started having problems with her kidneys, was losing muscle mass and felt so weak that she could barely get out of bed. Harper found it difficult to work or study as she was in and out of hospitals. Fortunately, the treatment eventually started showing results and her health improved. Number 1. Winston Fish In 2020, a Tasmanian pensioner died following a brutal tiger snake attack in which he sustained multiple bites. A neighbor found 79-year-old Winston Fish with the serpent still coiled around his arm. 
the elderly man had been tending to his sheep at a farm in Oatlands, north of Hobart. There were no witnesses to the attack, but the authorities proposed that Fish had accidentally tripped and fallen on the snake, prompting a defensive response. Fish was bitten at least five times, with the most significant marks present on his hand and on his leg. The neighbor freed him from the snake's grasp by chopping off its head. Fish was treated by paramedics at the scene before he was airlifted to Hobart Royal Hospital, as there was no antivenom available at the Oatlands Clinic. He passed away two days later. Thanks for watching. For 10 minutes, would you rather handle a tiger snake with no protective equipment or lie naked in a bathtub full of tarantulas? Let us know in the comments section below.